Hello Art 3D Classes. This week we're going to be working on our design cubes. We're going to be using all of the design ideas that we've been practicing and we're going to be putting them on the sides of the cube. These are some examples from years past. Um, the designs can be photographs or not photographs but drawings of actual things. They can be um, patterns or just abstract shapes and designs. This is one um, student's design cube. Here's another one um, with really cool patterns, some larger patterns, um, symmetrical balance, more patterns. Here's a contrast. Here's another pattern. Here's another contrast. Um, lots of really cool patterns. A, beautiful leaf and her self-portrait. Very cool patterns. And here's the last one I'm going to show you. Very nicely done, well colored, beautifully crafted, nicely designed. These um, students spent a lot of time on their cubes and we're going to have a whole week to do this. Um, what we're going to start with is we're going to start with a um, plan. We're going to make a planning sketch because on the campus and in class we're going to have these cube um, templates. Um, these are actually the flat version of the design cube. They're on cardstock, which is slightly thicker paper, so it's easier to have the make the cube stand and um, put it together. Um, and if you don't have cardstock, you can just use copier paper. We'll find, uh, I'll tell you a plan for how to make it feel a little bit more substantial and sturdy as we get towards the end of this presentation. But everybody's going to get one of these. At home, you're going to download it. Um, it's on, it'll be on campus, and you're going to print it out, and you're going to put your decorations, one side, one type of design, in each of these boxes that make up the cube. So you're going to have six sides you're going to have six different things that you need to put in your cube. You're going to use um, symmetrical balance, asymmetrical balance, radial balance, pattern, contrast, and one side just has to be your name in some sort of design. Maybe you want to put your name in the clouds, or you want to simply put it next to your self-portrait. Um, you can put it off to the side on a pattern, you can add your initials. And then this one over here had her name very small, right here, on a beautiful designed background. So you want your name to be legible, because we want to know who to give the credit for this beautiful cube to. And we want you to have a nice background, some kind of design, some kind of patterns. Think about an interesting font for your name, some bubble letters. Um, you're going to make this really, really cool. And like I said, you have several days to work on this. First step is to plan this. So you're going to make yourself a little plan. And it doesn't have to be really, really precise, but you do want to have six squares. So if I just take my paper, and I'm going to stack them all up so I know where that ends. Probably should start a little bit further over, but we're going to just do it small. And I'm going to divide those into, well, let's divide it roughly in half, and then roughly in half, roughly in half again. We're going to put a little, well, a little too high. Let's go here, and side thing here, a side thing here, and a side thing here. And we're going to have our six spaces that we are going to put our designs in. And this one here. This is just going to be your planning sketch, okay? So it doesn't have to be precise. It doesn't have to line up. It doesn't have to be um, foldable into a cube. All you need to do is plan which design you're going to put where and how are you going to do it. Are you going to do your symmetrical design here? Um, what color is it going to be? How's it going to look next to the um, things in this section? Um, how are these two going to look? Because they're going to all be next to each other. 
and then these are going to be next to each other. Okay, so everything's going to be touching on some sides, so you want things to flow through. And it's very difficult to try to keep things going the same way, but if you had these all oriented the same way, or these all oriented the same way, then you would be able to turn the cube a certain way and have things all right side up. I think this was her right side up way. Okay, but it doesn't really matter if they're not going to be right side up if you have some things that are upside down to each other because it's going to be a cube and there are eventually going to be some things that don't look like they go together. But you do want to have a plan. You want to have your different types of balance and your pattern and your contrast and your name on one of these sides. And you're just going to draw them on here. Once you have your drawings planned on here, and they can be sketches, they can be um, simple um, ideas, maybe you did a beautiful balance design that you want to use here, then you can just say, I'm going to put my symmetrical balance here, I'm going to put my radial balance here, and maybe put just a rough sketch of what you did on your um, designs that you did last week. And then um, maybe you have a pattern that you want to use. Maybe you want to use a pattern behind your name and another pattern in the pattern section. Um, you can use some of the things that you've already designed. You just want to roughly sketch them in or show me what your designs are going to be. So if you say, I want to put this pattern over here and this pattern over here behind my name, you have those um, patterns with you to show me your plan. Once you show me your plan, then you're going to be approved to do the template. The template is... Um, on cardstock, and I'm going to give some to you guys here, but those of you at home, once again, you're going to print it out, print it out on copier paper if that's all you have. Now you see that you have those six squares, but you have these extra pieces over here. Don't decorate those extra pieces, because those are actually the pieces you're going to use to put your cube together. So you're going to decorate it first. Don't cut anything, don't glue anything, just put your designs in all six of these areas. Once you've got that done, you're going to cut all around the edge, and then you're going to cut in on these little lines over here, and over here, and over here, and over here. Then you're going to flip it over, and you're going to carefully fold those tabs back. All of these tabs um, have to be folded back on the inside of the cube, because that is actually what you're going to glue together to get the cube to become a cube. Um, so we're going to take it from this flat surface into a 3D surface. Tabs are very important when you're constructing things with um, cardboard or with paper um, because it gives you a surface to glue. Um, instead of trying to glue two little skinny edges together, to have a big surface together will give it a lot more stability. I recommend using a glue stick because they glue dry fast. And what you're going to do before you glue, after you've cut it out and you've folded all your tabs, you're going to dry fit it. Check and see if these two are going to line up. These two line up pretty well. Are these two going to line up? Well, that doesn't line up very well. If you can see, there's a bit of a gap over here, so I, can, I can't make that side longer, but I can make this side shorter by just folding it in a little bit closer. And now when I put them together, they're going to be more of a match. Let's see what's happening here. Same thing is here. I'm going to push this back a little bit. This has already been folded once and glued, but it popped open. So that kind of happens sometimes when you don't do a really good job of gluing it. So that's why I'm going over how to attach them. When you attach, these two sides are going to go together. I'm going to put glue on both tabs. And then I'm going to put it together. I'm going to press it together, make sure it's making contact all through it. If you don't press it together, then it's not going to, the glue will just dry separate. Okay, I just pushed it all together, and now I'm going to wait. I'm going to count to ten, and sing a little happy song. What's that song we're supposed to be singing when we're washing our hands? Um, just count, give it a few seconds. By the time I stop talking, it'll probably be dry enough to stay put. Okay, so that's staying together. So I'm going to do my next two, um, my next seam. And once again, I'm putting the glue very thick and thorough over both sides, both tabs, and I'm going to hold them together. Sing a happy song again. Or if you don't want to sing, just count. 
but you have to give yourself a few seconds and you have to make sure that you've rubbed all along that seam so that that's going to stay put. You're going to go on doing all the rest of these and I'm just going to try to do these two together to save a little time. You can take your time. I'm going to try to do it a little bit faster so that we can get to the part that is a challenge. Push them together, push these together, and then hold it for a few seconds. It just takes a few seconds for glue stick to dry. If you use Elmer's glue, you're just going to have to wait forever um, for it to dry so that it will stay put. And now here's the challenge, okay? Because here I can get my hand in there and I can press things together. But when I get to the top, I have to fold this down and I have to somehow get all of these pieces to stay together. This is where um, a lot of patience, thinking really positive thoughts, and a lot of glue helps you. You have to glue it on really well. And all of these tabs, and there's a lot of tabs here, there's six tabs, because you're putting all three sides of this cube together. You're gluing three sides of this um, top flap. The back side over here is just folded. Now you're going to have to push this all together um, and get a little creative in trying to push those tabs together and just hold it. Hold it everywhere. Um, if you have a friend, they can help you hold it. Maybe they could take a side. Most of the time, if you just wait a few seconds, keep pushing the sides together. Oops, that one came apart now. It takes a little patience, but eventually it will stay. And if it doesn't, it'll pop open and you'll have another chance to try gluing it together. Okay? The A's. This is 100 points. This is 100 points because it's beautifully designed, well crafted, it's filled in all the spaces. There's no white here. She's put color everywhere. She's put color on background. Even where she's left white, she's got some design there, okay? So you want to color all of your spaces. If white is part of your design, please feel free to use it, leave it white. But if you need to put a color, a background, you don't want to just draw a little tiny thing and leave the whole space white, okay? Try thinking about backgrounds, think about colors, think about filling the whole space so that you can have something really cool to look at. You can make a theme for this. Um, Halloween, Christmas, any other holidays, maybe you have a favorite show that you like to watch. You can put all these designs can be related to um, one theme, it can be thematic, okay? But the 100 points is really nicely designed and also well glued so that it's going to stay together. Is my edge staying together? Not really, so I'm going to have to hold it a little bit more, but the other two look like they're doing good. So you're just going to have to be very patient, get everything glued together. This is okay if that's as close as you got. I'm looking at the whole cube and I'm looking at whether it's staying together long enough for me to look at it and grade it, okay? So if you have problems like this, just cheat a little and put a little more glue on there, okay? Be patient. You have you spent a week designing it. You should spend a little bit of time putting it together, okay? And hopefully you're going to have a really nice 100% cube. If part of your cube pops open, it's not a lost cause. If you really can't get it to get, stay together, take a photo, upload it. If you're in class, show me. Um, it might be 95 points or maybe 92 points. If you haven't done all of your designs really well, or you made a mistake on some of the balances or patterns, um, might take a few points off. But most people get an A on this project because it is simple, and it's something you've prepared for, and it's something that you can do really well. You can do the 2D design and then make it 3D. It's very simple. And this will start us taking things up into the third dimension, into the 3D, instead of just working flat all the time. So we're going to be working more with um, cardboard forms, um, sometimes with paper forms, 
Um, and as you see, I'm having some difficulties here, but I'm just going to be patient and give it a little bit more glue and a little bit more time, okay? And that's what your job is going to be. Maybe if you stand it down and push it down, push down on it a little bit. Now, I told you before that if you didn't have cardstock, you would print this out on regular paper. If you print this out on regular paper, it's very thin. So before you cut it out and glue it together, you might want to put this on top, put two sheets together, and maybe just put a lot of glue stick and glue them all together. Um, and put the glue stick maybe on the entire back of your um, template and glue it all together and then cut it out and then you'll have a double thickness. But some people have done it with just the copier paper and it has worked. So be patient, do a good job, plan ahead of time, Make your plan, implement your plan, make sure that you have all of these things on your cube.